Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today we're going to create a product variation type. Because if you remembered, in the last lesson we created a t-shirt, but let's say we wanted to create another type of product, like a uh, sunglasses. We wanted to create glasses as a whole and have the option to have them be sunglasses. So to do that, we're going to click Products and then Variation Types, and we're going to create a new product variation. So coming in here, we're going to click this Add Product Variation, and we're going to give it a name of glasses. Cool. And we're going to leave automatically generate SKU unchecked. So this create matching product display type, what this is, is that in an older version of Drupal Commerce, they had uh, what were products and product displays. And product displays are uh, what shows up on the front end, and products are the, um, it's maybe, maybe like the, the root product. So what you would have would be like the product would be the individual. This is a medium blue t-shirt. This is a medium large or a medium red t-shirt would be individual products. And one product display would house all of those uh, products and display them on the homepage and allow you to select them. Well, thankfully, they've gone this in a much more elegant way. You don't really have to worry about it too much, but we are going to get into some stuff with it later on in just a second. So let's click Save and add some fields. So by default, we have price, title, status, and these are things that are going to be in all of your products when you create them, as well as a SKU, because they're the things that you have to have. So we want your users to be able to um, change color. You know, that's just one thing. We want them... So let's say field reference, and this is going to be a taxonomy, and um, and we're going to leave this as just a um, autocomplete term widget with tagging because these sunglasses could have some weird colors or something. So we'll leave it like that, and we also want to have whether it's um, a sunglass or not. So we're going to create a new boolean field that's just sunglasses. And this is just going to be a, a single on off checkbox. And we'll move that up here too. And let's click save. Okay, and we want the on value to be yes, the off value to be no. That is, if they are sunglasses, then they are. If they aren't, then they are not. So uh, yes, you know, if it's checked, they're going to be sunglasses. If they're not, nope. And we don't need anything else in here to be checked because this is just like creating a normal field in a content type in Drupal. And this is a uh, color, again, which we don't have to touch anything in. So cool, now that exists, let's go and create a product. Let's add a product, and we're gonna get these glasses, and we want there to be aviators, and cool. The color is gonna be black, and the price is gonna be 50 bucks. Perfect. Um, however, you know, this is if there are sunglasses or not, it looks like we probably could have used a label for that. We want this checkbox to be not in this variation. We want this checkbox to be outside of the variation. So regardless of the color, you know, any of that stuff, we want this checkbox, whether they're sunglasses or not, to always be uh, yes or no. So you notice that when we were in our product variation type, um, it didn't really give us a chance to say that this is part of the, you know, the variables or not. So let's go to manage fields and I'm going to delete this sunglasses field because this is not where we're going to do it. Um, uh, where you want to do this is actually in uh, content, content types. And in here, you're going to find, scroll down, glasses already made for us and it says product display yes so let's go to manage fields here and you're going to notice something weird there's not our same fields however there's a group field for product variations so this includes all of our product variations and now if we take our existing field I think I think it's saved as an existing field even though we deleted it um, if it's not then I'll just remake it doesn't look like it is so I'm just going to create a new field sunglasses and the same thing it's going to be a boolean with a single on off checkbox and it's going to ask you that at the very beginning let's click save 
And on value is yes, off value is no, just like before. Save the field. Okay, help text. We're gonna say, are these sunglasses? Okay, beauty. Use field label instead of on values label. Yep, okay, let's save this. And so what's great about this is now if we go to products, add a product, and glasses, we get to say aviators, and are these sunglasses? Yes. And we can say AV1, they're black, and they're $50. Let's click save this variation. Now when we add a new variation, AVI2, they can be brown and $50, but notice how we don't have to say that they're sunglasses. So we don't have to do this over and over and over again and just change the things that change. Well, so let's save this product and we'll get to the product page. And beautiful, cool. So this has uh, exactly what we want. Although it has this product variations with this drop down that says aviators and it doesn't really give you a whole lot to go on. It does change this, but what's up there? So let's come back. Let's go to um, glasses, manage fields here in our product display. And let's come back and let's check out some of these. So we'll click edit on the color. And let's scroll down here single value so it's this is asking if this particular attribute is going to be used to allow customers to select a product based on the values of the field so yes and we want these to be radio buttons let's click this and you'll immediately see the effects on our product page so let's close out of here and there you go Instead of saying product variations with a drop down letting us pick, we now have black or brown. And while these radio buttons could use some styling, and I don't have an image attached to this, it's working. <laughs> and it's working pretty good. So um, pretty much everything from here on out would be adding an image and then CSS. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. As always, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.